So I'll show you the um, little tow hitch that I made for the my little tractor. Um, I don't know if you've seen my little tractor yet. It's a, a Kyote or uh, a Coyote CS 2610 horsepower. Little cracker. Um, it's got the works on it. Um, I've just I've just installed a this little hydraulic lever here to activate the um, I've put a rear three point linkage on it a rear uh, a hydraulic service sorry um, but this is what I made the other day it's a tow hitch receiver so that we can put um, these these sort of tow hitches in. And the way I've done it is under the bottom I've just got a central pin um, and the sides around the pin are to stop it wobbling. So what you've got to do is central that pin and then put that pin through there. Now we have a nice tow hitch receiver for the little trailer or another hitch higher. We can use that one to drag the caravan around or the big trailer. So um, work, works really well. Um, what I've just done recently is this is this has been my little garden trailer. It's always been a little a, a tipping trailer. You just lift it up by hand. But <laughs> now it has some hydraulic hoses onto it. So. I'll give, you a, I'll give you a fire up. The original trailer was pretty light and weak so I had to put the um, these things here so it didn't bow the front out when you started lifting it. This front would have just shot out. And the other thing was that it was a bit of a space frame so so that these um, stands here, the, the body stands, I had to put these ones here to stop the axle from turning that way and that one there to stop it collapsing in. But probably um, wouldn't have done too bad because the ply would have stopped that from coming in a little bit. Um, for a fancy garden trail I haven't got the bill yet so <laughs> could because I can't do the hydraulics they, the guys probably charge me a bit for the hydraulics but it should be alright. Um, got a few little jobs coming up that we can use it for that uh, should be good fun. The other thing I'm doing is um, putting my little spray tank that I used to tow behind the motorbike. Instead of towing it around on the trailer, I'm just going to put a, a three-point hitch on it and just stick it straight onto the onto the arms of that. Instead of having a shitty old trailer sitting in the shed, so half of that you know, I'll just chop it up and I'll make a nice little cradle. When I get it finished, I'll give you a little little look at it. Great little tractor. Haven't driven it much yet. <laughs> I got it at the end of last season. It was too late to do any mulching and too late to do any spraying. And but uh, yeah, this little thing here, that uh, that's the old bike I used to use. It's a 
it's getting too bit tired and I, I can't wait to get rid of it. I'll put it on the roadside so it might offer me about 400 bucks for it. See what happens. Catch you later.